Hello everybody, this is Nanduram and we are from Sono Academy. Today we are going to discuss about heterotrophic nutrition. Children, in earlier lesson you have learned that about autotrophic nutrition. In this lesson you are going to learn about the heterotrophic nutrition. The heterotrophic cannot synthesize their own nutrients. They depend on other sources of the supply of nutrients including those required for energy production. Most of the bacteria, all fungi and all animals are heterotrophs. Some of the bacteria and some of the fungi depend on other dead organisms to obtain nutrients and those which live on other organisms decompose and degrade the complex molecules present in these organisms to simple molecules. Some bacteria and fungi absorb these molecules through the body surface. They are called sparophytes. In this process, they added the several valuable nutrients to the medium in which they live, such as water or soil. Here, we will discuss about some of the examples of heterotropic nutrition. They are herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. All the animals are heterotropic in nutrition. They cannot synthesize their own food material. Hence, they consume other organisms such as plants, animals and microorganisms. The size and nature of the food consumed is different in different animals. They may be consumed either small microscopic or large plants or animals or both. The animals consuming plants as a food are called herbivores and those consuming other animals are called carnivores. Those which consume both plants and animals are called omnivores. Interestingly, some plants are also carnivores, especially insectivores, which feed on insects. The supplement of their body is autotropic nutrition and they obtaining nitrogen rich in nutrients from the insects. Examples are Venus fly, sun dew plant and bladder wort are some of the examples of this type of plants. All these plants are autotrophic and they can live by themselves without feeding on insects. However, their growth is stimulated when they feed on insects. Points to be remembered in this lesson are Several bacteria, all fungi and all animals are heterotrophs and they cannot synthesize their own nutrients. They depend on other organisms for the supply of nutrients. Some of the bacteria and majority of fungi depend on other dead organisms to obtain their nutrients. Those which live on dead organisms decompose and degrade the complex molecules present in the dead organisms to simple molecules and absorb these molecules through their body surface. These are called sparophytes. All animals are heterotrophs and depend on other organisms for the supply of their nutrient requirements. Hence, herbivores obtain the required nutrients from the plants and carnivores from animals and omnivores from both plants and animals. Thank you. This is Nanduram and we are from Sono Academy.